always quick. Topic two. Nerd talk. Let me look at my notes. His diary. Don't let him fool you. Notes. Dear, dear diary. Dear diary. Oh my. Has work been tough? <laughs> Things have been rough with the co-workers lately. No, I'm just kidding. Why does everyone make fun of Aquaman? <laughs> Why does nobody like him? Why, to give him a chance. Just be his friend. Video game consoles. Okay. So at E3, mm -hmm. they announced on Xbox, the Xbox One S. I heard about this. Do you know the specs? I don't know a lot of the technical shit, but I do know that when they announced it, they were like, two terabyte hard drive, 4K, HDR, the new Blu-ray format, whatever yeah. the fuck that is. <laughs> Something fancy. And, like, then they had all these developers on for the Scorpio. The new one that's supposed to come out next year. Now, so the Xbox One S comes out this fall. The other now, I will, I will admit that after I seen that press conference, and that's a day before PlayStations, I stood back and was like, damn. Xbox, you fucking nailed it. Holy shit. They hit it. They sold me. I mean, I, I literally, after that press conference, I was like, two ninety nine. All right. You know, Xbox One S, I'm down. Like, this $2 time. $2.99? 2 dollars See, I didn't even see the press conference. I just heard about it at work. Um, God, man. Again, I worked oh, with like, you a bunch of super You, you would have nerded out so hard. So hard, As dude. I understand it, there's another... I wasn't even, I wasn't even like a hardcore Xbox fan. And I was sitting there like, damn. Well, you know how I feel about virtual reality. And the other system they announced is going to be compatible with virtual reality. Oh, well, yeah, the Oculus, whatever the fuck. Yeah, no, I, not, I, I don't know if it's going to be compatible with... The, I didn't hear what it was. It's supposed Morpheus, to be... Morpheus? Whatever the fucking one that Facebook's Oculus, associated that's with. That's what it's compatible like, with. Oculus, and that, they're also associated with Samsung now because they have... They have, like, basically the Oculus Jr. And we'll the see where that goes when the Scorpio comes out. You know what I mean? That's the big... that Like you said, as of right now, we don't fucking know. Shoot. The, I, I've been, I, I want to go to Six Flags a little bit ever since the, this whole VR craze hit. They bought a bunch of those things, and they... Mm -hmm. There's some roller Well, yeah, they just announced that, like, PlayStation VR is, like, going to be at Best Buys and all this shit. Like, it's getting out there now. But it's good, though. Yes. Because it's going to be hitting the market hard this fall on everything. Yes. So they need to get it out this summer. When people are out and about doing shit, you know, you can stop by, oh, we got a virtual reality, blah, 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 blah. Well, everything's so crazy. You know, it's I like, mean, other than that Gear VR, it's, which is, it doesn't have anywhere near the power of any of the other things. No. But it's and easy I, and to I've tried the, I know, and I've tried the Gear VR. That's the one and thing. I thought it was all right. I, I did that little horror thing where you're sitting in a chair and it was kind of like this scary scenario and all this shit and you could look around and... You could definitely tell it was just in its virgency because, yep. like, <laughs> I don't know. What was funny to me was, like, all the, like, the the scary people and shit, they all had pearly white teeth. I remember, yeah. yeah. And, like, I was like, you all have perfect fucking teeth. That is insane. <laughs> that blows my mind. How long have you been in this hospital? It's supposed to. Two hours? <laughs> you know, like, you didn't even eat today. You didn't have no coffee or nothing. <laughs> you just woke up strips. with like white meat strips and here we go to work. <laughs> Let's be pretty. Uh, you know. So we're getting off topic though. Right. Where are you at? How do you feel about your Xbox One? How do you feel that they're releasing a new version of your shit considering the fact that you just got your Xbox, what, a month or two ago? Yeah. Well, and now they're releasing one in this October? A new, well, brand new version of one, you know. You know I know I, you got it for free, yep. I, I'm, but I'm just saying, as a console, do you feel that damn like there's gonna they're gonna release games because it is 4K, it is gonna be better picture quality that you're gonna have a better game on that than you will on yours. Not really worried about it, no, no, because I still, I mean, I are still you still in that mind frame from when we were on part one where you said you know you've always been back? Yep. You know, and, because that's all you've always been comfortable with that. You're yeah. like you're always like whatever. I just like the game for the game. I'll I don't get care to how fucking I get to pretty it. it looks. When right, you'll get to the prettiness when you get to the prettiness. Well, again, we can still pick up things like I can still oh, pick yeah. up one of these and jam on it and have a. Blast well, there's still and... like to this day where when I was playing this and every time I would pop it in, like right now I'm playing Zelda fucking uh, Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo. Bam. 
And every time I load it, I'm like, God, this game just looks good. It's still, to this day, it's like, this looks good. It's, you know, I, I don't know. There's something about it. it. doesn't. It's not all about graphics. No. Especially for me. Gameplay uh, is key. I love story, you know, for me, because it's, unlike a book or a movie, I mean, you're part of the story. So you, you get more of a connection. I mean, I'm more likely to and um, win um, in Gears of War uh, when um, your partner, this guy that you, all three games... His partner, when he passed away, my girlfriend was sleeping next to me, and I started to cry. And I'm mean, not like a little bit, like That's all right, pretty man. hard. But um, because it I developed you. such a minute. Well, yeah, you and then I was a connection with these characters. Like, That's like, just like with the Last of Us. Even though I played that game, like you said, like you know, eight nine times, and that's not actually. Hypothetical. That's more. That's more real than anything. It doesn't matter. Every time I fucking beat that game, it hits me, and like, it, yeah, I might not be sobbing like the first time I seen it. But my eyes well up. I was because just terrified. You just, it doesn't matter. You just have this relationship with these characters, you know? I was terrified she was going to wake up and I was going to have to like make that awkward explanation. Like, this guy who's not real, I'm just but trying I kind of know him really uh, well. He died just now. Uh, and it's, oh, I boy, know it's, he's not real, but he is. God, I'm so choked up. He is. For you, Santiago. Uh, I do. I, you know, and I, like, in, I've, I've been touched by movies. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But like. I always there's a connection with video games. Like well, it, it, it doesn't well, matter. The if it's brand is, new or well, you're more involved. Yeah. That's what it comes down to. And just like myself too, you know, you just get way, 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 way more involved because you are involved. You know, it's like you can sit there on a couch and watch a fucking movie all day. But when you're actually sitting there and you're making the moves, you're doing the things. You know, you are. Yeah. You know, Grand Theft Auto on the 360. Like I'm not regretting it at all. I'm loving playing it on the 360. Yeah. I'm going to continue it too. It's a you know, well, like, well and I've, I've heard people say, you know, a couple of my you know other friends that are like, well, I can't believe that you haven't pl- you never started playing it on the PS4. And I'm like, well, I played the fuck out of it on the PS3, and it yeah. was awesome. But you can do I first person. Like, well, that's cool. You know, like Mike, he's got it. My I'm roommate, not playing he's it for got a third it. person shooter. To be and honest. I see it, and it's awesome, and it's gorgeous. It is. It really is. But it's like, well, I got my experience out of it. I'm cool with that. Right. So you're fine. Like, I, I kind of assumed that would be your answer. You know what I mean? I guess, like, what I was trying to more or less get with, with the question is... I'm also very poor. Well, no, no, no. And like, what I was just trying to get with the question is just like, do you think that console generations are moving too fast? Well, I would... You know, we used to have this gap where, you know, we would have to wait five years, six years for a new console. And literally, like, these consoles haven't even, haven't even been out for three years. And I know it's a slim on the Xbox... But with PlayStation, they were supposed to announce the Neo. Yeah. Technically. Did but they, they not? Uh, well, a week before E3, I think it's Andrew House is his name. He had an interview and he's like, the Neo is real. It is coming out this fall, but we are not talking about it at the E3. Ooh. Well, the big thing is, and the biggest thing is, like, Neo was supposed to be yeah. Xbox One Scorpio. But Xbox's one Scorpio is like literally way, way, way more powerful than the Neo is. Really? And they're even saying that possibly the Xbox One S is more powerful than the Neo. Oh, snap. And that PlayStation had planned to put a $400 price mark on the Neo. Oh. And that when they came out with Xbox One S and they are like, two ninety nine, dollars 99 Damn. PlayStation's sitting there going, fuck. <laughs> we don't want to talk don't about Don't talk it. about it. Well, that's the best move. Yeah. Don't talk about it. Until you wear just anything. Yep. Don't say shit. Because obviously <laughs> Xbox, Xbox, Xbox is just literally <laughs> bitch slap the fuck out of you at this point. Pull it out. Pull out. We're not, not going to talk about it. Yep. Let's just, just go let's home. focus on PlayStation VR. You're right. And they did. You know, And, and that's good. Yep. There's a lot of cool things that you're going to have with that new For me, game being able to do that. And where this whole generation thing is going to, I think I'm almost done. I'm done. Evolving? Like, yeah. Not, not necessarily. Not necessarily. My, okay, like, so I'm a, you would consider me a hardcore PlayStation fan. You know, as of today, I'm hardcore PlayStation. You are hardcore Xbox, as of today. Yep. 
Nintendo will always be in my heart. Yes. Forever and fucking That's always. always. Yeah. Sega will also have a spot there, too. Because, like I said, when I, when I got the fucking... Like take a CD over the PlayStation. Really opened my you eyes grow a love. You grow a love, you know. But then I got my PlayStation when I was in like tenth grade, and then I started getting my own job. You know, I started working, so that's when I bought my Dreamcast in eleventh grade with my own money. I was like, I can buy it myself. I can do it myself. I don't need you for Christmas. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> Christmas in July. <laughs> that's Woo! right. So fucking. You know, and it grows from there on out. Well, now I'm hitting a spot where it's like, well, the PlayStation exclusives have been kind of growing few and far between for me. I'm yeah. not a big fan of Uncharted. Well, there's not. I, I mean, and, and where it comes down to, it's like, well, I'm not really a big fan of fucking Indiana Jones. I've never even seen that last movie. That was bullshit, but a hardcore fan of Indiana Jones would have seen it. I'm a hardcore fan of Star Wars. That's why I watched episode 1, 2, and 3. I own episode 1, 2, and 3. Because I'm a hardcore fan. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like, you take the shitty with the good. You're a fan. You just, you take it all in. It's it's part of being a fan. It's what it is. Just, you can go with, For me, like, I can go with the Resident Evil series. I can go with the Mega Man series. Castlevania. A lot of those have all gone to shit. But well, hey, you yeah, know what? Recently, I still love you to death, and I'm still a fan, and I'll still consume all your content. I was never a hardcore Indiana Jones fan, so Uncharted is kind of like a modernized Indiana Jones. Really, yeah. I like them, and I enjoy them. I've seen the Indiana Jones movies. I'm not that, you know, I've just never seen the last one, because everybody that I've ever talked to that is a hardcore fan says that movie sucks. <laughs> so, I'm the taking Park? their fucking opinion Oh my god! What the fuck were aliens doing that? <laughs> right! Jesus and I hear Christ. that! And I hear that and I'm like, I, you know what? I'm good with that. The last three movies <laughs> had to do with like with that. biblical relics or voodoo, some sort of religious Some crazy aspect. shit! And, you know, Aliens, aliens, bro. Aliens, <laughs> and yeah, you know, you know? know, it's a little bit, whatever. Yeah. We're, it was, I'm okay. Well, so, see, so, I work for me, the, so let me break it down. So, Xbox One S comes out this fall. You're not going to get it, obviously. I'm not going to get it. Like I said, it almost sold me. They got a lot of good shit going with it. So, Scorpio comes out next fall. Neo comes out this fall. But again, it doesn't even compete with the other shit. The NX. Nintendo. Comes out. Supposedly around the March-April area next <laughs> year. Now for me, in being knowledgeable in what the specs are and where this console is, it's more powerful than an Xbox One and a PlayStation 4 as they sit today. It is more powerful than those. The Nintendo's new system. Yes. Okay. So they're really, uh, this is a make or break for them. Right. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, it is. <laughs> Literally, it is. They've got to get third party third party development on board. And, exactly. And they said that this is going to be one of the most user friendly for third party development okay. than any other Nintendo system that has been out. They need to, if they really want people, they need to loan out some of their properties. They, they need to let somebody tackle want something famous. Let somebody do the, a Metroid. Yep. Like what they did with um. Let somebody Warriors. Like the Star Fox was garbage. Was it? From every, well, you have to use the fucking gamepad. Okay. For your fucking looking and shit, dude. What? Yeah, dude. And you look up to the TV and it's third person. You look at the gamepad and it's first person. And to, like to shoot and shit and all that, like you have to look at the fucking gamepad and to like fly around. You gotta look at the TV screen if you Ooh, want third person. Oh yeah, that's dude. interesting. Oh not. my god, they fucking. A lot of people thought that that was gonna be an optional thing. Like, oh, you can turn it on or off. Yeah. No. They made you do it. Oh, they garbage. made you play that way. Garbage. We're getting close. We're getting close. So that was We're... a good time. So what it really all comes down to is, I'm kind of done. I'm out. I... I'm going to jump on NX. And ride that train. I'm really excited about it. That doesn't mean that I'm going to still not support PlayStation, but I'll still support them. It just won't be probably as hardcore as it was in the past few years. I'm in the tablet industry, so I watch software evolve like that. Right. So you I know. Mean, I know that this is just going to keep getting worse. Well, we'll see where that goes. See you on topic three. Fools!